Good evening and happy Teacher Appreciation Week. Tonight we celebrate all WJC schools teachers but especially our Teachers of the Year from each school. We will announce the person who will represent the entire division for the 2021 WJCC Schools Teacher of the Year. I don't have to tell you that our teachers have met and overcome tremendous challenges this year. Our teachers have shown remarkable resilience, ingenuity and dedication to the art and science of teaching. They are innovators, problem solvers and creative thinkers. More than that, they are caring and compassionate men and women who will do whatever it takes to help our students reach their full potential. The teachers we are about to meet stood out this year as the best of the best. Teachers of the year are not only exceptional educators, but they are also leaders among their peers. These are the individuals who champion every student, boost morale in the buildings, and find creative ways to elevate teaching and learning. I've asked principals to tell us what makes their Teacher of the Year exceptional. Nicole Wolfman has always been a leader in the building, as well as a master teacher. Her positive attitude and willingness to rise to any challenge and support others whenever she could make her outstanding. Student engagement, even remotely, are a hallmark of her classes. Nicole is a superhero educator, and I believe she can leap not only tall buildings, but any obstacle in her way to support student learning, her peers, and the school. Our Teacher of the Year at Berkeley Middle School is Paul Cosby. He is our technology integration coach, and he makes everyone around him better. He finds programs that people can use, and he offers professional developments in the school, and he really makes teachers' jobs much easier, especially this year. There is resilience at the river, and Melissa Butler is a prime example of that. Despite the challenges we have faced this year, Melissa has remained positive and enthusiastic. She's been a tremendous support to students and to staff. Um, Kimberly Holloway, and she doesn't like me to call her Kimberly, but I will anyways, and hopefully that brings a smile to her face. Um, I've had the pleasure of knowing and working with Kimberly for 14 years at Matoka, uh, both as an incredibly effective classroom teacher, an incredibly effective uh, team leader, um, and now an incredibly effective student support teacher. And in all regards, um, she's just a um, gigantic part of what we do at Matoka. She's uh, hugely dedicated to what she does. It makes a meaningful difference in both uh, children and staff in, in so many roles. Uh, she's a member of our data team. She's a member of our school leadership team. She's led after school clubs. She gets involved with anything and everything. I have seen her pursue advanced degrees and certifications. She's just nonstop with her pursuit of uh, professional advancement. I could not be prouder for her to have received this recognition uh, within our school community. JBB Teacher of the Year is Robin Jamerick this year. She is amazing. She always has a sense of calm in her classroom. She's a first grade teacher. She's a mom of uh, several boys in our school division. And she just comes to the table bringing so much excitement, joy, and passion for what she does in the classroom and for what she does for students every day. Clever Baker's Teacher of the Year is Miss Tammy Williams. Uh, she's an inspiration to me and the entire staff. She is the most dedicated, inspirational, and committed teacher that I know, and she makes Clever Baker a better place to be. My Teacher of the Year is Alex Manable. He is a first year teacher, but it doesn't seem like he's a first year teacher. He is not only enthusiastic, but he is extremely caring and he takes every opportunity he has to make a difference in the students' lives. He's constantly thinking and asking questions about how to um, modify and um, enhance and enrich the experiences of our students at James Blair. And so with that said, he is our Teacher of the Year for James Blair, but he represents the hearts of many, but I just love his enthusiasm and what he demonstrates every day. Lindsay Ambrose is Toana Middle School Teacher of the Year. She is an innovative educational leader. She believes in her students and comes to school each day with a smile and teaches from her heart. Scott Brown is the Stonehouse Teacher of the Year and I can describe him in two words, team player. First and foremost, he is an amazing teacher. He also always takes time regardless of his own responsibilities to help his colleagues. He meets with families, he helps us with new technology and programs. And this year he even added Carline Director to his resume. He's involved in all daily aspects of the procedures at Stonehouse and we are blessed to have him. 
Our Teacher of the Year is Carrie Isaacson, and I just can't, ex I can't say enough about how wonderful she is. Um, when I think about Carrie, the first thing that comes to the mind is the fact that she's a career switcher. So um, she had started her career, she was doing a great job, she was in the business world, and she had that tug as far as knowing that this is my calling. Um, so to take that shift um, where she was being very successful um, in the, the world that she was in and putting that energy toward wanting to go into the teaching field um, speaks highly of just that passion, that energy that she has. Um, she was one of our student teachers. And so again, just getting that opportunity of even getting to see her and have her acclimate to our staff during that time frame, um, and then expressing the desire of wanting to maintain in our Penguin community, um, again, spoke volumes. Um, but most of all, she's so thoughtful with the planning and the instruction. She's one of our team leaders. I'm so glad that she's a part of our school, part of our school division, um, and she's worthy of this, this recognition. The Warhill Teacher of the Year is Matt Lichtel, our technology integration coach. Obviously, during the last 12 months with our pandemic and the shift to virtual learning, Matt's been an integral part of Warhill's uh, teacher success and our student success with helping us uh, seamlessly make the transition from in-person learning on a daily basis to virtual learning and now to a hybrid uh, teaching schedule. Norwich Elementary is proud to introduce Mrs. Griselda Carlson as our Teacher of the Year. Griselda is a breath of fresh air. Um, she's a kindergarten teacher and kindergarten is um, the student's first introduction to school and she does her best to make it memorable. Um, she's creative, she's flexible, she is just so much fun. Um, most of all, um, she loves seeing her students progress throughout the year. Um, she's an excellent representation of our school, and her positive presence is something that we never take for granted at Norge. Um, whether she's in a tutu or a colored rainbow wig, Mrs. Carlson is a great teacher, a great school leader, and a wonderful model for others. I'm excited to announce the 2020-2021 Bright Beginnings Teacher of the Year is Sarah Bottolari. In addition to being an outstanding teacher, colleague, and leader, Sarah has also been awarded her National Board Certification this year. On top of what was already an unprecedented and challenging year in education, Sarah rose above and continued to make connections with families, students, and her colleagues. Congratulations, Sarah. Liz Balmore a fine arts teacher, is a Lafayette High School Teacher of the Year. Miss Balmore embodies the spirit of our motto, every ram, every day. She is always forward thinking on how to support our students while creating an inclusive learning environment that celebrates the uniqueness of each Lafayette ram. She is caring and compassionate towards our entire community. And the best part is that she is a product of Williamsburg James City County Public Schools. Ms. Balmore is a shining example of the quality educators that serve our Lafayette community. Stephanie Carroll does not have a stop button. She is continuously working to grow as a teacher. She leads our SCA, runs our website, and is a vital member of our MTSS team. She's completely focused on not only her own students, but all of the students at Matthew Whaley. Congratulations to DJ Montague's Teacher of the Year, our PE teacher, Ashley Black. She has embraced virtual learning with passion, coming up with creative ways to engage students in learning and keep them moving through her videos and live sessions. She's the spirit of DJ Montague. She wel welcomes students by name each morning in the car line. She embraces Spirit Week with gusto, and she organized a number of creative activities to involve our staff and students during pandemic and virtual learning. She created a, an outdoor sensory path for our students to play on in the bus loop in the playground to help encourage social distancing. And she collaborated with all of the elementary PE teachers to create a holiday video. And by invitation, Dr. Heron also participated in this special event. During the COVID time of stress, frustration, and worry, Ashley has been a constant source of energy, ideas, school spirit, and stability, not only for our staff and for our students. She truly embodies the, mod the motto of DJ Montague, DJ's a safe place, a caring place, and a learning place. Congratulations, Ashley. Angel Poole is a strong teacher. 
Mrs. Poole's knowledge of instructional planning, execution, and assessment is a strength. What struck me years ago when I met her was her passion, though. Mrs. Poole is a fierce advocate for students. She has one of the biggest hearts in our school division, and you can see it through her actions for our community and her preparation for instruction, freshman orientation, and the Student Council Association. Mrs. Poole has high expectations and balances that with high levels of support. I'm proud to say that I am her principal. Congratulations to the 2021 Teachers of the Year. Hi, my name is Jim Kelly, Chair of the Williamsburg James City County School Board. On behalf of the entire board, I wanna offer our thanks and congratulations to our teachers for an incredible school year. We know how hard every teacher is working to connect with students in these difficult times and keep learning engaging and fun. Teachers have quickly become experts in using new technology and learning platforms to meet the needs of students during remote learning. At the same time, they have adapted their classrooms and procedures to keep students safe as they return to our buildings. Our Teachers of the Year stand out in a year in which all educators rose to unprecedented challenges. Each year, we recognize outstanding first-year teachers as Rookie Teachers of the Year. They may be recent college graduates or career changers who entered the classroom for the first time this fall. Being a first-year teacher is challenging, but imagine entering the profession this year in a matter of months during one of the most high pressure years for educators, these educators stood out for their talent, skills, and dedication. Among this year's remarkable rookie teachers of the year, one stood out and was selected to represent their colleagues. Tonight, I have the honor of introducing you to Rachel Rudis, WJCC School's Rookie Teacher of the Year. Angel. Ms. Rudis teaches social studies at Hornsby Middle School. She joined us this fall after graduating from the Woods Honor College, Shippensburg University of Pennsylvania. Rather than see the especially steep learning curve of beginning a teaching career in the midst of a pandemic as a burden, Ms. Rudis says it has a silver lining. She has learned more this year than the average first year teacher and every lesson will contribute to her ongoing success. Her principal tells us that Ms. Rudis may be in her first year as a teacher, but is well on her way to becoming a master. Congratulations, Rachel. We look forward to all of the great things you will do for your students. A few weeks ago, I had the pleasure of joining Dr. Heron to surprise three teachers with the news that they were selected as our level teachers of the year. Let's meet them. One teacher from each level, elementary, middle, and high, is selected to earn the distinction of level teacher of the year. The selection includes a review of everything from teaching philosophy to contributions to teaching and learning in the classroom in schools and across the division. We are going to hear from each level teacher of the year tonight. High school teacher of the year, Jamestown High School's Angel Poole has been teaching for 10 years with six of those here at WJCC schools. She teaches law and society, American history, AP psychology and government. This is what Angel had to say about being high school teacher of the year. Thank you, Dr. Heron, members of the Central Office team, Teacher of the Year committee members, and especially to my Jamestown High School family for this amazing honor. It means the world to me to be selected as High School Teacher of the Year and to represent all of the high school teachers in the division in this way. It's deeply humbling, and I just want to say thank you all for believing in me. Our Middle School Teacher of the Year, Nicole Lofman, who teaches U.S. History at Lois Hornsby Middle School, has been in WJCC schools for 12 years and has five years of teaching experience before she joined our division. We asked Nicole to tell us what being Middle School Teacher of the Year means to her. For years, I've looked to the Teachers of the Year for mentorship and inspiration. To be recognized as one of them now is a humbling experience. To have it happen this year when we've all been working harder than we ever have is beyond description. As I continue to learn from my colleagues, I hope that I'm able to help and motivate others as past winners have done for me. Our Elementary Teacher of the Year, Tammy Williams, is from Clarebird Baker Elementary. Tammy is a reading specialist, which means she interacts with all grade levels in her school. After spending 10 years teaching in places like New York, Japan, and Germany, Tammy came to WJCC schools, and she's been with us for 19 years. At this point, I am delighted to announce that Tammy Williams 
has been selected as the WJCC School's Division Teacher of the Year. On behalf of the division and the school board, congratulations, Tammy. Thank you, Dr. Heron. Um, I am extremely honored to be chosen to be WJCC's Division Teacher of the Year. Um, this recognition means a lot to me. This acknowledgement affirms the effort that I bring every day um, to reach my number one goal, which is highest student achievement, and to help my students um, build a literate life. Um, I also think that this recognition um, will help provide me um, uh, the opportunity to continue to champion all students and be a cheerleader for evidence-aligned instruction. I'd like to thank my administrators, Mike Curley, Anna Thomas, and my former uh, assistant principal, now principal, Angel Washington. They've always supported me and allowed me grace into trying new things. I'd also like to thank my wonderful and amazing literacy team, Rachel Samuels, Ellen Turner, Laura Barrick, and my former literacy teammate, Ellen Frackleton. Um, they are an amazing um, group of women and I am so fortunate to have the chance to work with them. I need to thank my family, my husband, Steve Williams, who doesn't judge me when the Amazon boxes pile up, my daughters, Madeline and Grace, who understand when I say my kids and my kids, uh, the teachers at Clarebird Baker who support me and allow me to jump in there with them, and finally, the students. I need to thank the students because they are the reason that I enter this building each and every day with a smile on my face. They are the reason for my enthusiasm, my nonstop drive to be sure that I get it right for them. I truly am humbled to receive this recognition for doing something um, that is not just a job, but my passion. So thank you again from the bottom of my heart for bestowing such a wonderful honor. Tammy, you just won Division Teacher of the Year. I can't think of a better person that deserves this award. You are an inspiration to, to me, again, Clever Baker. You rock. Glad you're part of our team. Thank you so much for joining us this evening to celebrate our Teachers of the Year. While we celebrate virtually tonight, I encourage you to send a message to your school's Teacher of the Year through social media, by email, or write them a personal note. Teacher Appreciation Week may be coming to a close, but here at WJCC Schools, we find something to appreciate about our teachers and staff every single day. Thank you for all you do for our students. Good evening.